Dragunov. Get ready for the next battle. Machines yes. right now. Of course, this is not the first uh, time we've seen Ball Phoenix on here by Iman. And look at that use of retaliating with a big launcher, but no fails to convert it to hit towards the van. Again, last day on Earth, very finicky stage when it comes to wall carry. Yes, you know, it, it just it looks like a normal stage right now, but of course, this is a very big terrain for you to attempt to reach end to end. Dragonov, of course, slightly more equipped than Ball Phoenix. Oh, look at this. And the Blizzard Hammer to end things with authority for Yusuf right here. Did you see how he canceled out the rage drive? Yeah. <laughs> that was really that razor. Quick. Okay, here we go. So again, chopping away at the leg is used. So Dragonov, of course, known primarily for his poke advantages. And Iman's ball right here. Ball Phoenix, of course, a damage machine as well. Look at all these sparks hitting right here. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, all this damage from one shutter kick. Nice block there from that retaliating use of from Wake Up. And Iman ties things up one more. Okay, so this stage again, as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, it's it's kind of just rectangular if you think about it. But when you get to those weird edges, it's gonna really hurt. Speaking of a hurt, yes. here is Yusuf putting on some hurt against Iman's Paul Phoenix. And here we go, 45 seconds left on the clock. But look at this, Yusuf's back is towards the wall. Um, watch, it's crazy. Yeah, true, he was able to retaliate and nice grab there from Yusuf. Wants to keep the pressure, nice low parry. Carries it to the wall once again, continues on the damage and closes out. It's just a simple, simple low that can end around for you here, ladies and gentlemen. And look at that, just one more round and Yusuf could get match number one for him. But let's not count out Iman, of course, from Malaysia. We know that Paul Phoenix again is well equipped with tools, but the patience of Yusuf is just paying off right now. There's a war machine to a wall, and massive damage. Yeah, massive here. damage indeed from one whiff punishment. So whiffing, ladies and gentlemen, is when you make your opponent whiff a move on purpose and punish it right there. And look at Ayman. He is blinking red and he needs to do something quick. Oh. But the quickness, of course, of Yusuf's Dragunov. Quick is really an advantage here in Tekken 7. You know, being a, a Dragunov uh, um, user myself, I would say that Yusuf is being really compact and really safe uh, as the, as the Dragunov right now. But let's see if Iman has a different plan. Because you, you, we do know that Paul Phoenix may be slower. A little bit. Just a tad bit slower than Dragunov is. But the damage output yes. can just be a little too overwhelming. That is where he makes up and when it comes to damage. Brian and now Fury. Iman locking in the Brian oh, oh. Fury. It looks like uh, Iman's all in for damage mm -hmm. right now. And Brian Fury is again no stranger to that. He is one of the more improved characters as well here. Alongside Dragonov for Tekken 7, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, uh, Yusuf, I think personally he knows the matchup against Brian Fury mm -hmm. because He's a very popular character to boot. Very true. And Yusuf being a character, well, he knows a lot of characters. He has a plethora of characters under his belt. So let's see if that holds true, if he knows this matchup. Again, if he does lose this match, he can go to character select, and that's something I meant to think about. We've been seeing a lot of left and left and right right here. Watch, it's just one one here and there. So let's see if Iman can keep that flow going. Now with Yusuf being a very a poke heavy player right here. Oh wow, wrong punish as well on that razor, and he pays dearly for that. All stand up damage so far. No big launcher yet, but Iman gets a full string there and nice punishment there from Yusuf. Oh, that wall standing one three, ladies and gentlemen, is actually a wall bounce move. So if if Iman's back was against the wall a little nearer than that, he would have had more damage. Oh, Oh my goodness, half the clock has been spent and almost even a life. Look at this, Yusuf yep. with the commander rolls going sideways. Watch out, hits the second string there and stomps on him. One more hit would do it for Yusuf, but nice hatchet kick or good old not quite. Oh my goodness, oh, the clutch, the clutch baits to a punch parry gets Iman round number one. Let's see if Brian Fury, of course, uh, watch, I would just clarify, Brian is a momentum-based character. So if you have the damage and the flow on your side, you can definitely get that win 
easy. These soccer, these hatchet kicks have been doing a lot of damage for Yusa. Probably I'm gonna try to condition him to duck low for a huge launch. And now there's all this damage, you guys, from stand up so far. It's it's insane how I'm an also pick a slower character than Dragon Up, namely Brian Fury, but of course very damaging. He's all in for damage. Look at that block of that oh wow of that sleigh ride. And now round number two. I don't want to jinx it right now, Bosch, but it looks like Ivan already has the read against you. And for, as you said, the momentum as well as the damage is on Ayman's side, but not if Yusef has anything to say about it. Good conversion there, and now Ayman has to get himself out of this situation because the wall is right behind him. Look at this, Yusuf just moving forward, not doing anything, not pressing any buttons against Ayman, and look at that, that's, that the slicing so bad all the way to a separator, and that's definitely some damage that you don't want to let go. Ayman, I think, hears that right now, loud and clear, painting Yusuf's back against the wall. Yikes, and just like that, when he was supposed to use the rage art or the rage drive, Yusuf just nullifying that, now taking things to round number four. Again, look at this. It's hatchet kick after hatchet kick here, Bosch, and that's definitely painful for Yusuf mm -hmm. to take. Not too much of that. He may have good down tools, ladies and gentlemen. That that low punch, that right there, is very irritating to some people. Yeah, and very. it doesn't put Dragon up in a disadvantage situation. It does not. And see, he's really just going to town with those down tools. But nice low fairy. Had a little much of those lows. Get them out of here, says Ayman. And Ayman wants to carry to this side of the stage. Wow, and he follows it up with slight damage. Just a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of spice. Oh my goodness, and would this be enough? Oh, it catches Yusuf in mid-air. Mm, this is not yeah. going to be enough. This is not going to be enough yes. to kill, but really close. Yeah, I've caught him in mid-air. It scales, ladies and gentlemen. So, wow, okay. Nullifies the rage drive, and look at that. Yusuf closing out the fourth round, and now fifth round. Here we go, Pika. Okay, so Ayman tried to challenge that uh, that rage drive. Most rage drives in this game, ladies and gentlemen, put you at an advantage when it's blocked. One of those is Dragonox, and it's very useful, even if it doesn't hit. And I think that's what Ayman was going for. He tried to challenge, but really to no avail. Wow, okay. Ayman has a lot of work. Nice Whoa. slam dunk there from Yusef. <laughs> Big gamble, because that would really put him into disadvantage if that was blocked. And tries to go for an orbital. Nice razor. One more hit would do it, but not oh, quite. No. Ayman's still alive. As you say, Bosch, not out of the woods yet is Yusuf. And look at this. Carry to the wall with some more damage. Look at this. Oh, and tries to clench in there just a little bit longer, and Ayman could turn things around. Oh! My goodness, what an orbital he Look at well that. Well placed, well sniped, oh. and Ivan takes things 1-1. One, one. Crazy. That is the second, second closest, um, I would say, pixel of health we've had so far. And so that far. was insane for Ivan. What a call of an orbital heal. Two words. Momentum and damage. Okay. And that is on Ivan's side. Oh, boy. Saw that. Even though he had one pixel of health left, the, the nerves of steel, the guts on Ivan was able to pull that one off. Basically, that's Brian Fury we're talking about. But look at this. We mentioned how Yusuf is actually a character specialist himself, or a rather uh, a multi-character specialist. Now he shifts to another ace in the hole, namely Steve Fox. And I, I don't know what to say right now. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna side with Yusuf right here, but I love me some Steve. Yes, I think everyone does as well. Steve being a very neat character, he mm. is a boxer. He has yes. no kicks. He has a stop and one kick, but the buttons cool. actually these X or circle or the three and four are his weaves. Yes. Um, most of the kick one. notations for Steve Fox correspond to movement and stances, not for an attack. But speaking of attacking, even right here with an early low parry will take Yusuf to the wall. Look at that carry and that combo right here. Yes, bro. just the Denying us any display of Steve Fox's offense early seconds of this first round and splats Yusuf once again in the wall. And Yusuf really has to be careful. The balcony is able to nullify that. Now he's marching down Ayman to this side of the stage. This is where Steve Fox also shines, chipping away little by little until you don't notice how much your character no longer has health. Here we go. Oh, again, dirty boxing twice in a row. And look at this. Ayman again tries to go for an orbital and there's a hatchet kick. Wow, crazy momentum shift right there, even in rage. A lot of dirty boxing, like you were saying. Thing, just slowly chipping away at the opponent for you not to notice and just like that he was at rage okay weird exchange there and Ayman gets the best out of that um, that situation and now Ayman again is marching Yusuf down to the balcony what a scramble that was and look at this Yusuf now converting off of a rocket launcher ladies and gentlemen that punch that knocked down Ayman away that's a very useful tool for Steve Fox look at this and Ayman just a few more hits away there's the sonic drive as we call it that is Steve Fox's rage drive ladies and gentlemen and that gets Yusuf his first round in this match 1-1 one, one. one of the biggest comeback factors of Steve Fox is when he has rage. He displayed it right there with that rage try. And Ayman, again, early seconds, he takes control. But when Yusuf stands up and starts poking him down, Ayman's in trouble. 
This is where against Steve Fox, ladies and gentlemen, most dangerous pressure. Oh, look at that. The back four. That knee guarantees another hit, but I'm not pulling the trigger. Here we go. Look at this flurry of offense. Momentum. Watch. Momentum and damage down for just to nullify that rage drive we were talking about. He tried pulling out the that comeback mechanic. He had a nice sonic, sonic bang there. Picks it up and is going to march him down to this balcony break. He doesn't break it. Look at this great block and punish as well from Iman. Here we go. Steve Fox again. As we mentioned earlier, ladies and gentlemen, he does not have any kits. Just a few of those are useful, but they don't have the range that you would want. But speaking of range, look at that down one, that low punch now tying things up. It's Ayman and Yusuf, final round each, and one win a person. Ayman now trying to slow down the pace, trying to gain back the momentum. Yusuf again is dictating the tempo of this fight. Oh, look at this. Very much aware of the Brian and Steve Fox matchup is Yusuf. He's trying again to splat to get that huge damage in against Ayman on the wall. There's the poke, and he better be careful because now it rages Ayman. Yep, Ayman now has a comeback factor. Can he use the rage drive to his benefit? He tries to fish for something big, but Yusuf again relentless with the poke and the offense. It's about to be 30 seconds on the clock. Oh, just one more hit, and there it is. Yusuf getting himself a jumping punch right there. Yeah, the forward like, one of Steve Fox yeah. sealing the deal in what seemed to be mm -hmm. seemed to be the momentum that Iman was riding on. Yep, you don't see that that much, but that was a clutch situation there. He probably had a little too much of those lows and wanted to crush them. Again, a, an amazing system here in Tekken is the crush property. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if, if your opponent naturally uh, does a low like you would in real life, mm -hmm. and your opponent actually jumps over you, then it will definitely miss. And that was the case. Great read there from Yusuf. And wow, what a display from Ayman. Well. Yes, actually, you saw that crush property when he went to the orbital heels of mm -hmm. Ryan Fury, where he just jumps and hits you with that heel axle. Uh, we'll actually see that in a bit. But here, this is where the action started to go non-stop for Ayman. But Yusuf, again, probably knowing the magic ball. Um, again, we, we know how speed matters in, in uh, Tekken right here. And again, I was so shocked that Ayman picked Ryan as well, you know? Because he's also a relatively slower character compared to Dragonov. But it paid off because of only two words, as you mentioned, yeah. momentum and damage. And exactly. now, um, Yusuf also understanding how speed still matters goes for Steve Fox. That's very true. And this was a very clutch situation. Dragonov was jumping, so he did not get the full damage of the Rage Arc. Excellent patience there by Yusuf. Oh, wow. They even things out. And this is the miracle comeback that I was able to get. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Barely anything left in his life arc. And, you know, he didn't even have to use his Rage Drive entirely. True. Look at this. Big. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful orbital oh. deal, ladies. Oh. Textbook. Brian play right there. He didn't need that momentum shift uh, out of our raises right because he, uh, he just wanted an orbital. There we go. This is a, this was a great exchange. The scramble right here, but it belonged to you. So oh, it did. perfectly placed. And as you said, he really implored his game plan. He wanted to march down Ayman to the wall and wanted to bully him with the potion offense and catch him with a lot of the counter hits. And he went to the over-the-top move a lot of the, a lot of times. So 